Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace an AC condenser on the 7 Gen AC Maxima. But in this case, on my Gen, um, Maxima, it will be installing a new AC condenser because I realized after I rebuilt the car, well, while I was rebuilding the car, if you follow the channel, the AC condenser was missing off of this car for some reason. I'm not sure why. So this really isn't how to replace, but how to install an AC condenser. All right, so we're going to get our pry tool. We're going to start removing all the grommets on this trim. So just dig in between the grooves. Let's stick your pry tool in between the grooves and then wiggle it upwards. These are a pain in the butt, but I got, I was going to replace these anyway. If you didn't follow the channel, I already got a whole bunch of brand new parts. I'm slowly getting around to installing everything. These will be going in the garbage anyway, because I even replaced this piece too. Just because I want to. I'm going to use this as practice for something. I'll be doing something to this engine bag. And this is going to be a practice piece before I touch anything else underneath here. So we got that out of the way. Let's pick it up. We're gonna put it to the side. Next, we're going to move the air duct that's right underneath the piece we just took off. And it's two, held by two grommets, one right here and one right here. I'm gonna be careful with these because these are brand new. those to the side and then to remove this slide it backwards tilt it and then lift up and pull out all right next we're going to move two 10 mils one right here and then one right here i never realized i never rebolted these but you just take out two 10 mils it's probably before i move and i never had a chance to put those back but anyways now we're going to move a 10 mil that's in the wheel well. So where my fingers at, there's one. And then it's one on the opposite side. All right, so we're going to move the 10 mil. Now the passenger. Now we can move the bumper. And now we're going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten mils. Uh, so now we can move this whole assembly and we're going to set that to the side. Uh, it would have been like a rubber grommet on each side and then a clip. 
but I never purchased those. I just did yesterday. So that's included in what's coming in the packages from Nissan. So we're going to skip that step. So now we're going to move six 13 mil nuts in the front bumper reinforcement. So three here and three over there. Right, so now we're going to remove the ambient air temperature sensor from the bumper reinforcement just get a pry tool and just wiggle each one out and be careful because you don't want to damage it Just push it to where you could get underneath the cover to reach the actual top piece. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So you want to move it to where you got access to here. That's all. And then just wedge your pry tool and then just gently wiggle it out. Wait, so we're going to set that to the side. Tuck it away somewhere. Now we can move this front upper reinforcement. So like I said, you can see the AC condenser is missing for some reason. So uh, hopefully the camera stays right there without falling. So once you got the 10 mil, just hold this piece, twist, and pull down. Then that separates that. And then pull that part up. And voila. This is going to the garbage because it's crimped, so it's no good. So now we're gonna get our new AC condenser. Lead us all. Set this down gently. A bit warranty, and that is all. Put this up so it comes with new O-rings, new screws. So that's a bonus. So now we're gonna throw this on the car. Now we're going to separate these two. I'm using a sharp knife, so I'm not using a lot of pressure. All right. Close this. Let me flip y'all around. All right, gonna unwrap this. Oh, I love that it comes with this piece too. So I mean, I could take off the old one too. All right, if I could figure out how I get this through. You want to be gentle. All right, got that out. Now we're going to get the new O-rings. this one and then before I reconnect it to everything I'll put a little you could put like a little bit of say like WD-40 or something similar around the O-rings that way you ain't putting it in dry while well, connecting everything dry so these are good these are good 
I'm gonna swap this piece out real quick. All right, so I just lubricated this with some oil. And do this. All right, that one's a little bit hard, hold on. All right, finally got it up. So, hold it like that. And then slide them in. Now we're going to reconnect it back up here. All right, so all these slits, one, two, and then three, four. It basically slides into here, 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 and here. I'm going to set that down and then do that. I'm going to do this side. Actually, what I'm gonna do, bring these through. Do it this way. All right, slide that in. Way. All right, so that's in. All right, so I'll pull these back and then put them into their corresponding holes. Yeah. Sorry about that. This one. Separate these two. I'll put this one first. All right, I'm going to move the camera because I might hit it. But I'm going to remove this. That way I can wiggle it some more. Actually, I might put We have a switch right here. Actually, no, the camera ain't going to stay. I'm just trying to make sure everything goes in smoothly and not accidentally scratching anything or bending anything. I know y'all not in the best angle right now, but let me see. All right. So it's in. Now we're going to get the 10 mil. Put that back in. All right, now we're gonna put the bumper reinforcement back on. Line it up. So, feed this through. 
And then it's followed by a dozen little nuts. So what I'm gonna do, just get the nuts. And just kind of put them through. Now I'm going to start hand tightening the opposite side. This is the only drop this. Tighten each one. Now the opposite side. Uh, so we want to reconnect the ambient temperature. Goes through here. Reconnect it there. There. Flip this around. And as so. This air duct right here. It just slides into place. And that's how about two grommets. One right here. And one right here. All right. Grommet goes right there. And right here. Now we're gonna put the last piece. So it goes like this. So it's two 10 mils that's held right there. One right here, one right here, and one right here. And it goes behind the headlight bracket. As so. All right, so I'm gonna look for the 10 mils and then be right back. All right, so now we're going to tighten all of them. And I forgot, it's also one right here. This one. This. That's right, so. So everything's reconnected. Um, I might just go to Walmart. I gotta exchange that battery. Even though it was disconnected, it's still. All right, so front ends together. Now we can throw the bumper back on and front ends complete. And once you got the bumper back on, just put this final piece back in and then put all your grommets in. Yeah, if you follow the channel, you know I gotta replace that piece. Cause I got that piece from a salvage Nissan Maxima and some of these holes are bent. So grommets don't really hold. That's why I don't put all the grommets in. But that is coming. That'll be an upcoming video. I'm gonna get the front end videos done first before I do anything else. Cause I know a lot of y'all been asking when the videos is gonna be up. So I'm gonna do those first before I replace anything else on the front. All right, so front end's done. I'm gonna clean all the parts because it did get dirty, but it's nice to see the front end back together again. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.